This is a quick demonstration of the personal brain software that we use in iScience as a tool to foster creativity throughout the modules and to act as a reflective tool at the end of workshop sessions. The screen you can see is a brain that I have already created. The central thought is follow the sun, i.e. the name of the conference, and you can see that the thoughts here are polls, videos, etc. And these are linked to the, uh, the central thought, follow the sun. You can navigate through the blank brain by clicking on the thoughts. When you click on them, they become centralised on the screen. This allows you to easily navigate throughout the structure. You can also navigate using pin thoughts at the top of the screen to rapidly jump to important areas of the brain. Creating new thoughts is easy. Simply click on the button at the bottom of the thought and drag to a clear area of the screen. If you want to erase a thought, right click on it and choose forget. Different thoughts from different areas of the brain can be connected using jumps. For example, if a topic discussed in more than one workshop, um, you can actually link them together. Here I'll create a jump between demo and videos. So as you can see, you can quickly navigate between them. Further information can be added to each thought in a number of ways. Firstly, text can be typed directly into the notes section. Secondly, you can add URLs to a thought by clicking on Add Attachment and typing in an address. Clicking on the icon will automatically cause the web address to be opened. If you have the full version, you can also add file attachments to each thought. We use the freeware version as there is no real need for this functionality, as you can insert links to OneNote pages just as easily. Um, I'll show you how in the next section. You can also change the colour of the title of any thought quite easily. Right clicking on the thought and selecting create pin allows you to create a quick navigation button that appears at the top of the screen. As shown here. Finally, you can easily search the brain using the search box at the bottom left of the screen.